Hi guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So if you're new here, don't forget to take just a second to hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my new videos. So we are about to go into Walgreens and look at some of the best deals this week. So I got that spend 20, get 5,000 points booster. So I'm hoping to use that. Hopefully we can use some digital coupons, maybe some paper coupons to get some really great deals. So I'm going to show you guys the deals in the store that you can do, tell you what coupons to use, all that good stuff. And then we'll take a look at the receipts once I get all done, lay it out, kind of see what worked, what didn't, all of that. So let's go ahead in the store and take a look at all these deals. All right, guys, so the first deal that we have is on the Tide, but let me just tell you guys, my insert did not have the Tide coupons like it normally does this morning, and my digital coupons are not loading on my app, so I'm not sure if we got Tide Digitals. So you can see here my PNG, no Tide coupons. So on the scenarios on the printable list, you can definitely take a look at that if you did get the Tide Digitals, but I am not gonna be able to pick up this deal today because not only am I not seeing any digitals on my app, I also do not have the paper coupons, but these are buy four, get a $6 register reward. So it would def definitely be a great deal if you have both paper and digital coupons. So I did wanna go ahead and lay this out for you guys. This is the buy four, get $6 register reward. It would be great to use the spend 20, get 5,000 points booster on if you have both paper and digital coupons. You'd pick up two liquid and two pods. So definitely check out that scenario on the printable list. So just so you guys know, there are other items available for the $6 register reward deal. I have not seen this bounce spray before, so that's kind of cool. Um, the unstoppables are included and also fabric softeners and different things. So there's definitely different items you can pick up depending on what coupons you have. So always an easy deal you can do is on the Ajax detergent. They have the free and clear and the regular, and these are only 99 cents this week. You don't need any coupons, and if you have points, you can pay with points. So these aren't tagged here in my store, but these Febreze products are two for $6. We have a $3 off two digital or this buy one, get one free coupon from today's September PNG. So this will take off $3, making them two for $3 or only $1.50 each. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of these to put with my scenario. So on the big stationary products, we have a $3 off two digital coupons. So one example is these being buy one, get one 50% off for $2.99. You could pick up two of these after your $3 coupon. It'd be about $1.48 for two packs of pens. So not a bad deal. And there's lots of other products included and the price ranges go up a little just depending on what you pick up. So next we have a deal when you buy three, you get 6,000 points and Crest is part of that deal. So if you wanna pick up the Crest, that would be the cheapest option out of these products that you see are included. So three of these would be $12. Now, if you're picking up those, we have a $3 off two digital coupon and we also got a $1 um, paper coupon in today's PNG. So if you were to use that three off two digital and your $1 off from the September PNG, you would pay eight dollars but you would get back six thousand points making the final cost just two dollars for all of these and you can pay with points so you could pay with points and then get points back next we have this colgate optic white advanced deal six dollar register reward when you buy two so the colgate site has this dollar coupon we also have a dollar digital so if you wanted to pick that up two of them would be 9.98 you'd use two one dollar coupons it'd be 7.98 but again you would get back a six dollar register reward so it would make your final cost just a dollar 98 for both so next I'm looking at these Depend Silhouette because they are $5.99 each and we have this $2 store coupon. So this is the September savings booklet. So when you scan a coupon out of here, it will take that $2 off of each pack you buy. So that'll get us from $11.98 to $7.98 for two. And if you have a $6 off two digital manufacturer coupon, you'll use that, pay just $1.98 for both of these or only 99 cents each. 
Now, if you would rather pick up the Poise Active, we have the $2 store coupon that takes off of that. We also have a $2 manufacturer coupon. So it would make one box of the Poise Active only $1.98. So if you wanna pick that one up, you can definitely clip that digital, use this store coupon. So this caught my eye because these random 79% off and 74% off and all of this. So check around your store, 83% off. So several of these items over here were just a dollar. Um, so I may pick up something. I'm kind of looking, making sure the tags match up with the item all of that but some random clearance so definitely check your store see if there's anything that you want for a dollar or two um, not bad prices on those these up here it looks like that is for something else other than what is up here so i'm not sure what that was supposed to be but yeah check your store for clearance and you always find different little things so another scenario for the buy three get six thousand points you could pick up these teen um, always pads for $8.79 and do two of your crests for four dollars each so you'd be at $16.79 with all three of these you could use a one dollar digital coupon for always and a three off of two digital for crest so you'd pay $12.79 but get back six thousand points so your final cost would be just six dollars and 79 cents for all three of these products so I have all that on the printable list below if you'd like to check that out to see what different scenarios you can do for these deals so for spend 20 get 10,000 points we have these refresh products i have not tried these before and we have a digital coupon i saw for 350 off um, we have these nexus products some of you guys told me you got nexus coupons i don't have any personally but um, a lot of times i'll like to get the conditioning mist for nexus that's 21.99 they're out of it here at my store but this is another good scenario to do for your spend 20, get 5,000 points. They've also got the Love, Beauty, and Planet over here. So depending on what products you want to pick up, there's lots of different ones you can do for the spend 20, get 10,000 points. So I think I may pick up a deal on this. I'm not sure yet, but those are the different ones to choose from. So on the refresh products, they're $7.99 each. So I decided to get three of them, one Ajax, two Febreze. So I'm going to put this all on a deal together. I'm using this $3 off manufacturer coupon for the Febreze. I am going to use some register rewards. I have all these $4 register rewards. So I'm going to go ahead and use one for the Ajax one for each of the refresh products. So that way that coupon will attach to each one. So my total before coupons is $30.96. I'm using $16 in register rewards and a $3 manufacturer coupon. So that'll take me to $11.96. And since I've already spent $19 in manufacturer coupons, I'd be good to use at least 10,000 points on this as long as I pay another dollar out of pocket. So I should pay about $1.96, get back 10,000 points, um, use 10,000 points, so I'll get my points right back on this one. All right, guys, so I just came out of Walgreens, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was so tired from, you know, Friday, we were prepping food, me and my mom, for my sister's wedding. Then Saturday was the big day, so we were there all day, all kinds of stuff going on and all of that. Went off really great, but I'm tired, and... <laughs> I get up early this morning, I clip some of my Walgreens coupons at 7 a.m. And then I go back to look at my app when I'm in the store and none of my coupons are coming up. I don't know if this is an issue just in my area or if you guys are having the same problem, but it was stressful because <laughs> I'm in there. Um, I had clipped most of the coupons I needed. Some of the coupons were not popping up at all. So it was hard to know what was available, all of that. Now, let me just tell you guys, when I got up to the register, none of my digital coupons were working. Hopefully you will not have any of the same issues that I had, but I'm letting you guys know just in case. So I am gonna still go over my transactions with you guys and show you my receipts. My receipts are not really gonna make as much sense as they normally would because they had to price modify some items to take off coupons and all of that. Um, the cashier was super friendly. She's really nice. I've seen her many times in there. The manager, he was pretty nice too, but he seemed kind of like, eh, like he wasn't super excited to have to do that stuff but I mean I showed them like 
I took screenshots of the coupons on my app this morning after I clipped them. So luckily I still had the coupons to show them. And I was like, these are on my app. My app's just not pulling up. So it was a whole issue. But I got some really great deals on some things and I'm still gonna tell you guys the breakdowns that I did. That way you can see exactly what I did and how I got the prices I got. So hopefully you can get these same deals. So we're gonna go over those receipts in just a second as soon as I get home. And if you guys have been doing like the free eight by tens and stuff, for Walgreens just keep in mind <laughs> don't forget to pick up your pictures like me because I had like six of them to pick up this free eight by tens so it's crazy oh my gosh I was going to pick up like two and she said oh you got all these so there you go but let's go ahead and check out the receipts on these deals all right guys so I am back home and this is my Walgreens haul for August 30th through September 5th so I did three separate transactions. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did on these, show you my receipts, and then we'll talk about the final cost of all of this. So on my first transaction, I picked up one of the Ajax detergents. I picked up the two Depend Silhouette and the three Crest. So on this receipt, you're gonna see price modifications because of digital coupons not coming off. And all of that, I had problems with my digitals today. So you can see there, they took one of the crust from $4 to $1 to get that $3 off two coupon. My $1 coupon down there was my paper um, crust coupon. So it came off no problem. On the Depend Silhouette, I had the $2 store coupon come off. And then the six dollar off two coupon that i had did not come off so you can see that they also price modified that but like i told you guys all of these products in the store they would have been twenty dollars and 97 cents i had my six off two digital my three off two digital and then my one dollar off two digital so all of those coming off would have got me to 1097 so that's exactly what my total is here and then I got back 6,000 points for the three crest. And I should have gotten back 5,000 points for spending 20. But on this transaction, because of the fact that they had to price modify everything, um, I did not get back my 5,000 points for spending 20. So thankfully the manager did credit me. If you look here, he credited me 5,000 points. So I got my 6,000 for crest and my 5,000 for the spend 20 deal. So originally I was new, gonna do um, Tide on a spend 20 deal. And you'll have to tell me if you see any Tide coupons on the app, because we normally get good PNG coupons on our app, guys. But literally this morning, I couldn't see any Tide coupons, so I wasn't chancing it. I did not get any on my app this morning so far. Um, it's been giving me so much trouble this morning. And then on top of that, not getting my PNG coupons was so disappointing as well. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I'm just working with what I've got. So that went really well because it was 1096, got back a total of 11,000 points, making all of these products completely free. Now, my next transaction is the one that looks really crazy. Um, so I was able to show them the digital coupons for these on my app. Luckily, I had taken a screenshot of them because I do that so that way I can show you guys what the coupons look like, right? So since I had those on my phone, I did show them, hey, I took the screenshot at 7 a.m. this morning, so it is clipped to my account. So luckily, that's how they were able to help me with that. Now, with that being said, I also had a screenshot of um, this refresh coupon but I didn't see that one until I was in the store. And actually my app finally pulled up when I was in the store, but the coupons were still not applying. So I saw the 350 coupon. Um, so the cashier, she saw it on my screenshots on my phone, but I was already planning to use register rewards for these. So my total got thrown off some because she price modified um, one of these that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> So I'll show you guys what happened with this, but basically the three refresh products, the two Febreze and the Ajax, all of that together would have been about 31, no, I think it would have been like $30 and 96 cents, something like that. And I bought this candy bar, sorry, let me move this. I bought this candy bar because it's to support teachers when you buy that. So I normally try to buy one at least 
um, on every shopping trip that I go, you know, cause they have to ask the cashiers that's part of their job. So I went ahead and got one of those candy bars. So my original plan was I'm just using a register reward on each of these products and I'm buying the two for Brie. So my total was a dollar higher because I had the candy bar, but otherwise my total would have been $30.96 for all four products. I had $16 in register rewards that I was using and I had my $3 off, which was the buy one, get one free on the Febreze. So after using all those coupons, that would be $19 in manufacturer coupons. Now keep in mind that this deal for the refresh and for the Nexus and all that, it is a spin deal. So you don't want to use points on a spin deal or you won't get your points back unless you have paid at least the amount that you needed to spend in manufacturer coupons and in cash out of pocket. So because I had already used $19 in manufacturer coupons and this was a spend 20 deal, I knew that I only needed to spend one more dollar out of my own pocket to get me to that amount. So with that being said, I knew that after coupons, my total would be $11.96. I was going to pay $196 out of pocket, use 10,000 points on this transaction, and get 10,000 points back. So yes, I'm using some points, but I'm getting them right back. The register rewards, yes, I'm using those, and that might not be the way that everybody wants to use their register rewards, but today, I was like, yeah, I want to do that and try these products. I haven't tried those before. So with that being said, I'm only paying $1.96 out of my own pocket personally. So I feel like that's a really good deal. I'm getting back the 10,000 points I spent. Plus I ended up earning beauty on this transaction and getting back 5,000 points. So that would have ended up free for me. But if you're counting the register rewards, yes, I did spend those, but I only paid $1.96 out of my own pocket. So that's how much cash I actually spent. So I'm not too, too concerned about that, but I'm going to show you my receipt because um, like I said, she price modified and added in that 350 coupon, which I wasn't expecting. So it kind of threw off my totals. Um, and then this the refresh, it was not giving back the points, even though I did it. The only thing I think today that gave me back points, um, with no issue was the crest deal. It gave me back the points for that. Otherwise I didn't get points on any of the stuff I was supposed to or anything. So you can take a look at this receipt really quick guys. You can see the two for Breeze, two for $6. The candy bar, um, I bought that one um, to support teachers. Then the Ajax was 99 cents. And then I bought three of those for $7.99. But see, she price modified one to $4.49. So I didn't realize that that was going to happen. So I was like, okay, but that still should have put me at spending over 20 on those products. Anyways, so at this point, I've spent... Um, $19 in, um, oh my gosh, I can't think. So $19. Anyway, so it put me a little under $10. So because of that, it was like using, uh, 5,000 points and then, um, paying $4 or so out of your own pocket. But I'm going to stick with my original scenario because that was my original plan um, to use 10,000 points and all of that. So with tax, I was able to use 10,000 points, but because she price modified, it put me um, below what I needed to be where I would have been fine otherwise. So anyways, it didn't even give me back the points on this transaction. Um, so he did go ahead and credit me um, the 10,000 points for that deal. Otherwise, you shouldn't have any problems if you do your math and they don't price modify anything because if they price modify it and you're not expecting it, it will throw off your total. So it was a little crazy today, not gonna lie. I know um, the cashier, she was trying to be super helpful. So I do appreciate that. Um, but so otherwise, the only other deals I did, um, I picked up this mug on clearance. It was $2. And then the Takis, these four ounce bags, so they're the smaller ones. My daughter likes these, so I got these for her. They are four ounce, so they're two for three dollars on sale this week. We have a dollar off two digital. Of course, my dollar off two digital didn't come off, even though it's for the four ounce bags, because none of my digitals are working, like I told you guys. So it would have made these um, two for two dollars, or only a dollar a bag. And the cashier, she did type in that coupon as well so she was very nice and like was able to type in all the coupons i wanted um i was kind of gonna wait on this one so i wasn't expecting 
her typing that one. So, anyways, I appreciate it, though, because, you know, sometimes you don't get nice cashiers or cashiers that understand coupons. So, even if it threw things off a little, it all worked out in the end because they did credit me the points that I should have gotten. So overall, a good day, and you guys know how I am. I'm not going to let a couple little hiccups hold me down because, hey, it's still, it's still good deals. I'm still positive about it. So guys, let me know what deals you are doing this week. How are your coupons working for you? I want to know all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys more than you know. We are almost at 12,000 subscribers. I'm so, so excited for my channel to keep growing with you guys and just sharing the deals with you guys every week. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're picking up this week. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you didn't yet. And if you're a new subscriber or you're new to my channel and you're thinking about subscribing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. Make sure to share this with someone who maybe wants to learn how to coupon or, you know, is just kind of getting interested in it. A family member, a friend that needs to save money. Anything helps and I appreciate it so much. So I will see you guys in the next video. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to grab your printable list below with all of these deals and also grab your money saving apps like I bought it and fetch rewards and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.